More fighting was reported today in Zaire, the latest scene of genocide in Central Africa. It began in Rwanda two years ago when a tribal bloodbath sent refugees flooding across the border to Zaire. Now, fighting has erupted inside Zaire, and half a million people are trying to flee back to Rwanda and neighboring Burundi. The calm hills here belie a country in crisis. Just out of sight, a brutal tribal war. Hundreds of people are murdered every week in ethnic violence. Everyone is afraid, afraid that Burundi is becoming the next Rwanda, where nearly a million people were killed in a genocide just two years ago. Dr. Bill Holmes is a surgeon from New Hampshire. He's operating on the front lines with little help and without running water. You reinvent the wheel every day. Really? Yeah, because um, some of the things that the textbooks would tell you to do, you can't do. You know, what do you do with someone who, who needs a big operation, but there's no blood, or there's no electricity? Bill and a few other Americans, like Debbie Burquist, work for the International Medical Corps, a kind of global 911. I get much more satisfaction out of this work here, and I guess I feel I can do more, I'm helping out more by uh, working in these countries.